nothing that we ever planned or projected. Uh, we started this uh, just two months before the pandemic, uh, and it just exploded. Uh, I am just so grateful that a local church could meet a global need. One million people have come across this campus in two years uh, to address food insecurity. A lot of times we, uh, we say, yeah, that's just for a moment. Yes. But this has been a movement. Yes. How excited are you to play a part in, in what you see here? Uh, this is sweet sorrow. Uh, we want to celebrate, but we're sad to know that there are one million people living with food insecurity. And we realize that this is a part of our responsibility as the body of Christ. That Jesus didn't just teach, he didn't just preach, but he also fed. And so we feel like we are walking in the footsteps of our Savior. You said you started prior to the pandemic. Yes, just three months prior. But to understand that we're three years later and there is still the need. Yeah. Uh, it says to us that uh, poverty and food insecurity is not a fad, uh, it's not a season, but it is a reality. Uh, and what this has done for me as a pastor, it's changed the face of what food insecurity looks like. People have come through this line driving Mercedes, driving convertibles, driving minivans. At one time when you thought of poverty, you thought about those who were despairing, uh, those who were unemployed or returning veterans or those with mental health challenges. Uh, but now we're finding that it's true. In America, you can work 40 hours a week and still not have enough to take care of your family. Okay. You see a mountain of volunteers behind you. We know a lot of partners made this possible. Talk to that collaborative spirit that made this all happen. I'm grateful that uh, every week over 100 people volunteer, most of whom are from our church. Others are community stakeholders who see the vision and say that we've got to be a part of it. And so I really want to salute and celebrate the nameless and faceless amongst our community who know that it is a privilege to serve. How long will this, will we get to two million? At this point, I can't put a limit on it. When we started, I didn't see a million, I didn't even see a hundred thousand. And so this really is out of our hands now. It's out of the hand and the mouth and the mind of God.
family, I want all of the men who are out here serving today, would you make some noise, please? We started this uh, at the dawn of uh, the pandemic. Uh, we didn't know if we would reach 1,000. Uh, 10,000 wasn't even uh, a daydream. 100,000 was not even a concept. Uh, so for us to reach the 1 million mark uh, says to us that the scripture is true, that God will do more than you can dream, more than you can think, what you can uh, imagine. We're thankful that today is representational of the exceedingly abundantly graciousness of our God. Uh, this family who was coming on today had no idea uh, what it is that God had in mind. And aren't you uh, delighted and relieved to know that God is thinking about us when we don't even know what to do with ourselves. Amen. Come on, let's give God glory. Uh, and so I want uh, these sisters to know uh, that this is not from Pastor Brian. Uh, this is not even from New Birth. Uh, but this is from the hand of God. Uh, that God absolutely remembers you uh, and is mindful of your toiling. Uh, your responsibility is only one. Be not weary in well-doing. This begins your due season because you did not faint. Come on, family. Can we give God glory? said if you love my people serve them that's what we have done we honor you and your family for being the one million person here at the king's table god bless you oh yeah we got more gifts for you <laughs> we have a refrigerator and we have our guys logistic team they're pulling some furniture for you to take home I thank all of you who have uh, contributed uh, of your strength, uh, of your time, and of your resources. Uh, again, I have to uh, thank World Vision for partnering with us uh, to helping us uh, to really uh, go further than what it is uh, that we expected and where it is that we dreamed. Uh, let me just say as an aside, as we go back to survey, uh, this is just a snapshot of uh, what we are doing. It is really not a culmination, uh, but on Monday, we will be broadcasting a full documentary uh, of the making of the King's Table. It will be uh, streamed on all of New Birth Platform. Uh, we want all of you in the media and all of you who are friends of our ministry uh, to know the full breadth and the scope of what is taking place here on New Birth Campus uh, to make sure that you watch The Road to One Million, The King's Table Story. Thank you so very much. All of our volunteers, go back to your assignment. Thank you so very much. I feel wonderful. Uh, I just feel joyful. I just love to smile and be happy. And, you know, and to make other people be happy too, just when I look at them, just smile and, you know, and show the, the presence of God that, you know, he, God has a smile on his face for everyone to smile. And after God uses me to, my smile to help someone else to smile. So I'm just overwhelmed of, of the joy of the Lord. And